Hello and welcome to the Late Night Charge. This is our Thanksgiving special. There's only one more after this in this season. I'm your host, Joe Brown, alongside my beardless sidekick, Dave Puglisi. Dave, just couldn't do it. Joe, I just want to start off by apologizing to everybody out there who supported me. To all the viewers, I thought, I thought with the viewer help, I could finally make it a whole month, Joe. I couldn't do it. I wasn't man enough. I wasn't man enough. Uh, Dave, let's be real. I think you were just jealous and you realized that you couldn't grow something as awesome as this right here. Look at all of this action going on. No, you know, I think I probably could have grown, grown a better beard. I, no, I think I could have grown a better beard. It was just really itchy and scratchy. Well, it was always getting in the way. I guess we're never going to find out because you're not man. Though. I guess we're not now, but hey, all is not lost. I did make a hefty donation to our No Shave November page in honor of me not finishing my beardness. Okay, well, if you'd like to join our team, thanks for the plug, Dave. You're welcome. You can join our team or donate by going to main.acsevents.org slash go to slash late night charge. Hey, we're almost at our goal. We just need a little bit more. I mean, any bit counts. Well, Dave. Uh, the semester is winding down, and I don't know about you, but I'm getting swamped. It's true, Joe. I don't know about you, but at least we've been having a lot of fun on the show. It's true. It's been pretty fun. You know what they say, Dave. Time flies when you're having fun. You know what else flies when you're having fun? What's that, Joe? My grades. Woo! Hey, Joe, you can't spell fun without an F. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Tell me about it. You know what's not fun, Dave? What's that, Joe? A drunken man who stole a bulldozer because he needed a ride home and destroyed everything. Everything along the way. Joe, that's not funny. First of all, you should never, ever drink and drive. Unless it's a raspberry soda from the Hazelnut Cafe. <laughs> are, you, damn, are you doing this again? you doing the promotions for Joe, Hazelnut? I'm like pretty much the unofficial sponsor of the nut. All right? <laughs> they, uh, they've hooked me up with a free lunch this last month, so I guess I kind of own one. You own one? Yeah. This is the last time that you did it, they thought like you were like not serious about it. But you actually are an avid customer I mean, of, his, yeah, of yeah. the nut. <laughs> the nut. I mean, dude, listen, I've become kind of a big deal now, all right? People just come with me with these sponsorships, all right? You don't see Jeter turning down Ford or like Larry Bird turning down Mick D's or anything like that. You know, next thing you know, I just have sponsors on my jacket, man. Right in my suit. Just like the nut over here, Bartels over here, Sodexo. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. But, I'm starting up here. Right. They don't turn it, But you do see Lil John turn down for what? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Had to it in there. But Dave, just, just don't forget the little people, all right, when you have your big start. I'll try to, try to remember the guys that got me here. You do know uh, what? You know someone who did turn down a sweet offer, though, Dave? Who? All right. So uh, this, this girl, this is actually a pretty good story. This girl, uh, she's from, like, she's Thai. Um, Kim, Kardash- Kim Kardashian was going to adopt her. She's an orphan, right? She Back. lives like in this really, really bad area. And the girl said no. The girl did not want to get adopted by this rich celebrity. And she was just like, no, all this money, all this fame, all this, you know, like, all this. Nope, didn't want it. That's insane. Uh, you know, Joe, I don't know if you've seen the magazines lately. I, th- I think Kim's pretty cool, Mom. It's <laughs> cool, my book. Really? Because the, the magazines? Yeah. She's also a rich mom. She has a rich dad, and uh, I, think it'd, I think it'd be pretty nice over there. I would have I jumped shit. Honestly, man, if Kanye was my dad, I'd just make him sing the graduation album 24-7 to me all the time. Dave, if Kim Ye were your parents, that would explain so much about you. What, like my sweet glutes? <laughs> exactly, Dave. It's a, I mean, it's a God's giving gift. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think that that's what we're... Nope. Thinking, but. I think it was. <laughs> All right. Well, would you? What, what gets me about this girl uh, is she lives. So she lives like in this just hugely impoverished area, and she shares like a mattress on a floor with like five girls. Has to wake up at like five a.m. every day to go hundred miles round trip just to go to school. And Kim Kardashian's like, I'll give you money, fame, success, your own bed, all this. And she's like, I'm all right, Kim Kardashian. I'm cool. <laughs> you know, you know, what blows my mind. Right. So you just mentioned all that. And she somehow knows who Kim Kardashian is. <laughs> right? That's say so It must have been the magazine, right? Must have been the magazine. <laughs> You're right. Uh, well, Thanksgiving is only two days away now. Uh, I know it's my favorite holiday, personally. I love spending time with all my family, you know, getting all, all, the, all the friendships and everything, watching football. It's always the best on Thanksgiving. 
You know, me too, Joe. But you know what I'm really thankful for? What are you thankful for, Dave? I'm thankful for that Kmart is going to be open at 6 on Thanksgiving this year, Joe. I'm just fired up for the deals. Oh, God, Dave. No, Dave, places like Kmart opening up on Thanksgiving are just ruining the holiday completely. You do realize that they're opening at 6 a.m. on Thanksgiving. Not 6 p.m., which is ridiculous. And they also told their, pe- their, uh, their workers that didn't want to come in, if you don't work on Thanksgiving, you will automatically be fired. Did you That's say, Kmart for you right did there. You, did you say 6 a.m., Joe? 6 a.m. in the morning. Bartels doesn't even open until 7, man. That's ridiculous. I thought it was 6 p.m. I thought it was 6 p.m., dude. Bartels only open for like two minutes a day oh, anyway. Oh, for a fact. But, man, I can't, <laughs> even, I can't even watch a Cowboys game, man, if, the game, if they open up at 6 a.m. Hey, that's... That's that's I'm your pretty, fault. You're I'm the pretty one. outraged. Listen, it's supposed to be Black Friday. I don't like my Fridays mixing with my Thursdays. You know what I mean? You know, a confusing. it's just un-American. <laughs> Un-American. <laughs> you said like you said like you, like Nixon or something. Like, no, I was trying to channel my inner wolf. Un-American. <laughs> we can have Wolf do a rant about Black Friday. Oh my! That would I mean? Gosh! Wish I wish we thought that in advance, but <laughs> we should have. Wolf would have gone ham on Black Friday. What do I got? What do I got? Oh, you beat me, oh, me to it. You beat me to it. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, if, uh. if, that's, if that turkey pun is any show of what we have today, we're going to have a great show. We have Julia Ventura from the Jedi Knitters. We also have Nicole Schroeder and Megan Scuddy from Delta Phi Epsilon today on the show. And our musical guest, our friend Bobby Moody. So stay tuned. This is the Late Night Charge. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Sorry to interrupt the late night charge, but I'm here with a great opportunity for you. Do you like sports? Do you want to be part of all that Charger action? Well then come on down to Bergami One at 6.30 on Tuesday night so you can learn how to call all the bump set spikes of women's volleyball, all the air assault of Chargers football, and most importantly, the flying headers of women's soccer. That's Bergami One, 6.30 on Tuesdays. Now get back to that late night charge and enjoy the show. Welcome back to Late Night Charge. Please welcome our first guest of the day from the Jedi Knitters Club, Julia Ventura. How you doing, Julia? I'm doing good. You? Good. Dave, what are you doing over there with the name with Octavio? <laughs> Octavio the <laughs> octopus. Yes. So you go. They, put, put they the knit him. <laughs> well, all right. So you're from the Jedi Knitters Club. Uh, that's a it's a really creative original name. I know when. Um, when I was an orientation leader and we would show a charge of connection off and it's like, look, oh, you can look, you can create any club you want in the world. <laughs> like, if you like Star Wars and you like knitting, you can make the Jedi Knitters go. <laughs> so how did you guys come up with that? That name, I think, came from our last president. Her name was Catherine Voto. She's a really big fan of Star Wars and she knit like all these crazy things. So I guess like she's like, oh, knitting, Star Wars, they like lightsabers, so Jedi Knitters. So, all right, so like, what are some of the things that you guys can knit then? So we knit like from like basic items like hats, scarves, gloves even, to even some like like this little guy, Pinky from Pac-Man. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Yeah, He's pretty much so crocheted sweet. and also Octavio the Octopus. Octavio the Octopus. Is his name Octavio the Octopus? Yeah, his name's Octavio now. It's <laughs> a sweet name, not gonna lie. You only came up it's, with it, Dave. Well, what else can you knit? Like, I mean, the octopus is like super cool. Because most people think of like scarves and like hats and gloves and mm-hmm. stuff like that. You know, we don't really think about Octavio. And I've seen some really cool knitted things. I even think I've seen some like knitted Pokemon. I even oh, seen some um, like knitted Legend of Zelda. Oh, so like, games like Portal. So nice. Awesome. So how much how much time does it generally take then? It depends on the project. Like some like like hats and scarves only take like a month, maybe a month and a month and a half. Only, only a, a month. month. Because it depends, like some needles like these, like the bigger ones, like they're like faster knitted items. Okay. There's like some really small ones, it's going to take you a lot longer. Because, you know, with all like the time and everything, like you have to sleep somehow. <laughs> it's like, hey, only a month. Like, <laughs> not that it's long. Like, it's like week three, I'm like, oh, you start seeing its eyes. Like, <laughs> but you're also like, you're not working on it non-stop, too. Exactly. Like, that's the thing, like, we're imagining it as in like, you're just like in a corner in a room, just like, <laughs> like for a month going straight, just it. going crazy. Like, <laughs> it becomes like your, uh, like uh, the volleyball in Castaway, what's his yeah. name? Wilson. Wilson, thank you. I don't know why I didn't remember that. But it was just like, you've come to your Wilson. Uh, but what's your favorite thing that you've ever knit in your life? 
That would probably be my first scarf. I, it, it's so sentimental value. It's so ugly. It's beautiful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> what do you mean? Because the first one it has like it's like I don't know. It's like started from like this size and like all of a sudden became like that, and then like it has like holes all over it. But the reason why I love it is because it reminded me how much it took just to finish that scarf and remember, like where I started from, and now where I got to the top of like knitting and everything. You're the Drake of the knitting world. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Started from the bottom, now we're here. Well, my 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 sister, she likes to knit all the time, and like, she's just, I think I don't think she ever finishes the project. I think she just literally knits an entire like yarn ball like until it ends. So, uh, what since we asked you what your favorite thing was, what was the one thing that you knit that you're like, oh, this is gonna be awesome, and then we were ready, you're like, I'm just gonna put this in the garbage. <laughs> That would probably be my first um, project like this. I was trying to make, I think, a cat or something. Nice. And it did not end up well. It, it looked really deformed. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a, a lumpy cat. Yeah, <laughs> like, like a sick cat. All right. Um, well, since you are Jedi knitters, uh, what is what's, who's your favorite Jedi or your favorite Star Wars character? And then what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Because that's an I feel like that's an important. Like, I feel you like can't be important. in the Jedi knitters if you don't like Star I, Wars. I feel right? like you need to at some point in the club yield your knitting utensils as <laughs> lightsabers, <laughs> and there needs to be like fights, like with like with sabers. So what's your favorite? Uh, it would probably be. Honestly, probably, even though he's, well, I guess Yoda, but everyone loves Yoda, so. Yoda. I saw so on Charge Connection that your title as president is changed from president to Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Julia, I would like to learn how to knit. Dave, would you like to learn how to knit? I would love to learn how to knit. Okay. So, when we come back, mm -hmm. would you be willing to have you and some of your friends come teach us how to knit? Yes. All right. So, when we come back here on Late Night Charge, Dave and I are going to learn how to knit. It's going to be a trip, so stay tuned. <laughs> Together, 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 we can save lives from cancer. This year, nearly 1.5 million people will hear the words, you have cancer. You have cancer. You have cancer. And there's a good chance that some of them are people that we know and love. Here at the Late Night Charge, we have chosen to create a world with less cancer and more birthdays. Where cancer never steals another year from anybody's life. By helping the American Cancer Society's work. With our help, the American Cancer Society saves lives and creates more birthdays by helping people stay well. Helping people get well. By fighting cures and by fighting back. The American Cancer Society has fought for every birthday threatened by every cancer in every community. Will you join us? Will you join us? Will you join us? We hope you will support us in our effort to reach our goal. Because nearly everyone has been touched by cancer in some way. If you would like to help us fight cancer or donate to the cause, please go to maine.acsevents.org slash go to slash late night charge. Thank you and we hope you will join our team and make a donation today. Welcome back to Late Night Charge. Julia, you're still here with us from Jedi Knitters. You brought, you brought your crew, your, 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 your crew, right? Yep, this is Duffy, and that's Jordan. All right, so we're, we're going to learn how, I'm going to learn how to crochet, mm -hmm. right? And Dave's just going to learn how to knit. Yeah. But well, as we were getting set in between the break, Dave's pretty I've confident. Been, I've been killing it, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna, it started with one. I'm at five. Okay. All right. So Julia, get get us started. <laughs> it's a here. big deal. Okay. All right. So, wrap it around. Okay. Yeah, Wait. No. No. The, the hook. Which, by the way, they gave oh. me this originally, and they're <laughs> like, "Yeah, you could use this." Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know. And they give me this huge <laughs> thing. So there's no middle ground. But <laughs> all right. One or so I go wrap the wrong way or no? No, you can go that way. Oh. Oh. Okay. One, I don't, hold a little. Hold, yeah. Oh my God. No, this is okay. so hard. Uh, wait, I, I got this. Okay. Yeah, you Hold, yeah, you, no, oh, no, didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, hold okay. Hold it. Dave just yeah, you know, I'll just do mine. So yeah. I guess you wrap Oh, wait, here we go. I got it. I got it. You almost got it. You got it. Nope. No. That's okay. Oh, wait, I got this. I go like that. And then nope over again no no, no. I d oh i just do this once and then i bring oh, this that's right yeah. through. Bring it over, yeah, over. Uh, okay. All right, so there you go, go. So okay like now what is now. It, am i done just repeat it uh, wrap it around one more time do it so where, really where yep keep this doing is it point. yep yeah you got the first part and then i like, grab the bottom again yeah yep yeah 
Oh, and what you're doing I'm is called chaining. So you're like, chaining. So you're pretty much okay. your thing. If you I keep see, going, it's gonna look I like this. this time around. And you okay, use the whole thing. It's gonna end up looking oh, like God. this scarf. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you made that right. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of chains that I just wrapped around okay. when you come. So back. Am I still doing it, or Let am I messing see. up? No, you're actually doing really good. There is. Oh, all right. What's up? What's up? This oh, bitch just did Dave, it again, dude. Dave, did you hear what she said? She said no. I'm doing really good. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you don't even care. I'm cro crocheting. He just, he just figured out. I how just to figured do it out. By how I just did it by myself. Listen, crocheting is a fancier word than knitting, so I think it's more <laughs> impressive what I'm doing. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> He's gonna have two pretty soon. I oh, think. right. Oh, no. I better move up quicker. He's double, double fisting <laughs> this knitting over here. Yeah. All right. Um, I am too excited. So is this like just it? Is this what we do? For no. Oh. A month that you said before? Sort of. I mean, you can, like, make, like, after you, like, do a basic chain, you can make, like, hats, scarves, and gloves, depending if you want to go in a circle or a square. Okay. So, like, I would say, like, chain a few oh, yeah. more, and then we can start, like, making, like, a dish cloth. Ooh. One more, and I go... I, it's right? like I'm really excited, but it's really hard for me to imagine this becoming a dish cloth. So, uh, is this what you guys do at your meetings? You just so like come in, some hot cocoa, yeah, sit sit around, right? And we just talk about anything we want. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, like all the daily gossip. Yeah. Oh my god, I would love being in this club. <laughs> I like Bam. this is. Do you see this, Dave? Joe, do you see this? Do you? Your, yours I literally have, looks like you I just have a pinky circles. worth of yarn done. <laughs> that is the world's okay. smallest pinky. I don't know what you're talking okay. about. No. Now, I'm, now I'm going double stick, Joe. Du so double stick. We got to see this. Double, uh, double well, you're stick. Gonna put this one in your left hand. All right. Okay. okay. So you want to. Okay. So here's the tricky part chain one more. So do one, one more. Yeah. One more. I got this. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. So there we go. All right, now here comes the hard part. No, I thought that was the hard part. No, here okay, you see like those little V's that you made? Mm -hmm. Yes. You can. So you're, you're gonna, the yarn. you're gonna yep. take your oh, hook, sorry, sorry. and you're gonna try and go in once okay. in one of these. In one. Of them. All right, and this is the last thing we're gonna oh, do. Yeah, like we're... this. Take the uh -huh. pointy end and, pull this and go. Like yeah. Okay. Let me see. No. And pull yes. Where? No, no, leave the oh. I don't know. Oh, the other loop? I think it was loop loop I think we got it. All right, <laughs> got so we got, oh my God. We, we got the gist of it. Dave, you can... I just have no idea what just happened. <laughs> All right, well, okay. Dave, you can <laughs> keep working You can keep <laughs> working on the break. Okay. This? But I wanted to... Uh, oh, no, I yes. lost my loop. Okay, okay. well, we I wanted to thank you guys for coming okay. on. It was definitely awesome. Maybe we maybe we could come to a meeting or you guys could knit us something. We'll put it on the show as like a prop. But yes. um, so it's been fun and happy Thanksgiving, of course. Thanks you too. Well. Yeah. I made an end zone. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, when we come back, we're gonna have uh, Nicole and Megan from Delta Phi Epsilon. So stay tuned. This is the Late Night Charge. I'm serious. I'm gonna making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name And they're always glad you came Welcome back to Late Night Charge. I'd like to welcome our next guests, the wonderful ladies of Delta Phi Epsilon, Nicole Schroeder and Megan Scuddy. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good, come on. It's <laughs> late night, aren't you? We're this is your great. second time being here. You're yeah. excited. You just had deeper, dude. Mm -hmm. It was off the hook, as the cool kids would say, <laughs> right? You raised a lot of money. It was a big attendance. So, can you just give a little, you know, recap of last week's deeper, dude? Um, well, for those of you who don't know, deeper, dude is a male pageant that we hold to raise funds and awareness for cystic fibrosis. And cystic fibrosis is a genetic disorder that affects the respiratory system as well as the digestive system, and it makes day-to-day -day living really hard. So our whole goal was to just raise awareness around campus so people know what cystic fibrosis is and just to have a good time and raise money. Okay, and so obviously I heard, I saw all over Facebook and everything that people had a good time. So what were, it's a male pageant, what were some of the things the guys had to do? So there was, um, there was the main rounds. It's kind of the same thing as a women's beauty pageant. Um, there's formal round, creative, where they got with pairs with their escorts, and they did something in like pairs like people were peanut butter and jelly. Nice. Um, they had a talent round where they got to pick a talent of themselves. Our winner actually did a science experiment where he produced oxygen for those who can't breathe as well with cystic fibrosis. 
Um, and then their last one was a DeFi inspired round. So they um, were inspired by our sorority and dressed like us. So, well, I feel like that that's a that's a tough area because that's either like you know flattering or impersonation or like mocking. I don't know. There's like, a lot of glitter. A lot of unicorns. There's a lot of glitter. A lot of, lot of, glitter, a lot of unicorns, yes. purple and gold, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you talked about the winner. The winner, uh, Jesse Lateraki. He's He's my roommate, so uh, I feel like I feel like he was chosen just to like mess with me. So you just feel all high about it, like ah, I'm deeper, dude. But um, he had he had like a towel like thing, right? It was I don't know. It was it pretty was, it was, pretty it was, crazy. It was a little risque. Like, it was a little risque, risque like, but you know what? You, you got to go hard in the paint to win, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it was it wasn't an easy competition. Then you guys had one thing I thought that you did really well was. Uh, on Facebook, you had all the contestants have like this like picture of like cystic fibrosis or whatever, and then had to get people to like it, and the most likes got it, uh, got like an award or whatever. And I thought that was like a pretty unique way to get the word out. Um, so what, uh, what mean or I'm trying to think of the best way to say this. What does cystic fibrosis mean to you guys as a chapter? It's your your big philanthropy. Well, it's the main one that we focus on, and especially our chapter. Um, one of our recent alumni, Sammy Jenkins, she actually has cystic fibrosis, so it's really like a close-to-home philanthropy for us. So, like, we, the average um, life expectancy for someone with cystic fibrosis is actually early 40s, so that's kind of really low and kind of scary. So to have someone so close to us with cystic fibrosis, it just really means a lot to our chapter to raise money and awareness. Yeah, um, and also, like, looking at the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, they've made so much progress, and I don't know about you, but I honestly believe that one day there's going to be a cure for cystic fibrosis, just because w back, like, before we were even born, kids with cystic fibrosis didn't even expect to go to elementary school. Wow, and now they really? can live into their early 40s, and I honestly believe that one day there's not going to be a life expectancy. They're going to be able to live just as normal, healthy people can. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, you talk about kids. I heard a story um, from one of the contestants who performed last year, uh, the 65 Roses. So, Scotty, would you like to explain it? Yeah. It's pretty cute. It is. Um, so, 65 Roses is what some kids call cystic fibrosis. Um, it's a story of there was a patient back um, a while ago when cystic fibrosis first came about, and he couldn't say um, cystic fibrosis. And every time he heard his mom talk on the phone, he thought she was saying 65 Roses. So, one day when he was asked what he had, his response was 65 Roses. So, the rose became the symbol of the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, and now the story is that... Um, they always get 65 roses instead of cystic fibrosis. I like that. That's, that's a cute thing. And so it's much easier to, you know, let a, a young kid know that you have 65 roses. And so. Yeah. Um, all right. So I've been dying. So you guys are sisters. You know, you're, you, you know each other pretty well. Look, look at you <laughs> turned at each other. Like we're, so we, we here at the Late Night Charge came up with a couple questions, all right, to, to just so you guys know each other, who... Uh, who is more likely to do some of these options? So how well do you know each other? Let's see if you can both come up with the same answer. All right, so first, who is most likely to get into a fist fight? Mm, this is a tough one. That's a tough one. Uh, hopefully neither. Hopefully it yeah. never happens. I don't... Mm. Somebody. If somebody ticked you off, who would be the first one to throw, to throw some bows? Probably Nicole. Yeah. She was she was telling me before I might have to hold her back soon, so <laughs> she was mad before and she's like, gotta hold me back, so probably Nicole. All right, well, I'm, I'm not going to mess <laughs> with Nicole. Don't mess with me, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, who, okay, we have uh, we have Thanksgiving coming up in a couple days, so who could cook a better turkey? Who's who's better at making Thanksgiving dinner? Probably you. Mm, maybe. You make things a lot. <laughs> I make things. I'm going to make things? major this second. Yeah. That's true. You would probably make like a healthy turkey. Is that mm. is there such a thing as a healthy turkey? Mm, without the gravy, I mean. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Um, who uh, who has better dance moves? Uh, I wonder. She's only on um, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> my hip, my hips, my hips don't lie. They don't do much. Yeah. Well, no, they they, they do, do lie. lie. They do they lie. Don't do much. They just lie around. Yeah, they lie around. They, they lie don't around. dance. <laughs> she's, just, she's dancing queen. She's great. I think. Uh, your next number should be nine and five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'll definitely bring it to the e-board. Okay, let me, know. let me know how it goes. Mm -hmm. All right, um, all right. So you're in a scenario. There's a huge red button right on this table right here, and there's a sign that clearly indicates saying, "Do not touch the big red button." Who's the first person to touch it? I don't know. I don't know. So who who's the rebel here? Who's who's not going to follow the rules? Mm. 
would probably touch it. You know. would? I feel like we both would. I feel like we both would. We'd probably, we'd probably do it together. At the same time, same like, time. sisters! Sisters always! That's definitely what we do. <laughs> All right. Um, serious question. This is, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> read it us. Glitter or no glitter? Glitter. Is there yeah. ever a scenario in life where glitter is not necessary? Mm. Maybe, like, when you're eating. Yeah. It's I'm, not I mean, a good I've definitely thing to, like, glitter before. So. Yeah, me too. Um, but, like, maybe like a funeral. That's not the best mm, yeah. sign. But ever. that would make it fun. Like, Unless it was happy. a deeper funeral. Yeah. <laughs> it was a deeper funeral. All right. Well, I think I think we could show that you guys clearly know each other pretty well, and you're both pretty big rebels. So <laughs> don't want to step into you guys in the streets. Mm -hmm. But I want to thank you for coming on. Congratulations on all the money over forty two hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. For sixty five grosses. Yep. Hopefully, we can ra get that up to five thousand next year. So thanks for coming on. Thank you. And. Thank you. Uh, I'll see you around, all right? I don't know how else to end this. So, what we're going to do, I know what, what we're going to do. We're going to go to Bobby Moody. He's our musical guest, so stay tuned. This is Late Night Charge. Young people are influenced by the internet, television, and peer pressure, among many other things. These influences may often lead them down the wrong path. But there's a way to reverse the situation. You can counteract the negative influences and stop alcohol from falling into their hands. By talking to your son or daughter, you can be a positive influence and make the difference. Welcome back to Late Night Charge. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome all the way from Shelton, Connecticut, Bobby Moody. Thank you. You hear these words pour out All these smoke-filled lungs surprising you Oh, it's a song that you have been sung And to this day I would like to owe myself A little pride for all the strides I've yet to show My roots may be crooked beneath my skin Trace my blood to the source where my future will begin. Yeah, I see the stars crashing, burning low, then high. It is then I will see just how it is we get by. When the feet start tapping, you know we've got the flow. When the feet start moving, you're feeling pretty mellow. Now it's like we're dancing on the ocean, just me and you moving to the mo ocean. I'm singing, whoa, oh, 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 don't you know? I'm never gonna let you go. Well, I might just lose control. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, 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 don't you? No, this is how it's supposed to go yeah, This is how it's gonna go Just leave it up to me I'll show you how the world is supposed to be Scream at the top of our lungs, baby, I am free Oh, oh I'm free Well, maybe it was one day I woke up late and noticed things had to change So I looked into your heart, felt an instant spark igniting me to believe that this was my fresh start when the feet start tapping, you know we've got the flow Start moving, you're feeling pretty mellow. Now it's like we're dancing on the ocean, just me and you moving to the mo ocean. I'm singing, whoa, oh, 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 don't you know? Never gonna let you go. I might just lose control. Whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, 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 don't you know? This is how it's supposed to go yeah, This is how it's gonna go oh, Just leave it up to me to Show you how the world Is supposed to be 
scream at the top of our lungs, baby, I am free. Oh, I'm free. Oh, I'm free. Yeah. Oh, I'm free. Oh, I'm free. Oh, oh, oh I'm free. Yeah. I'm singing, whoa, whoa, oh, don't you know, I'm never gonna let you go. My, my, I might just lose control. Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, 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 I'm singing, whoa, whoa, oh, 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 don't you know I'm never gonna let you go? Oh, I might just lose control. Whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, 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 don't you know I'm never gonna let you go? Cause this is how it's supposed to go. Just leave it up to me, I'll show you how the world is supposed to be. Scream at the top of our lungs, baby, I am free. Thank you. Bobby? No problem. So, I want to thank Bobby for coming on. I want to thank uh, Jedi Knitter Clubs with Julia. I want to thank Megan Scuddy and Nicole Schroeder from DeFi-E. Uh, it's been a great episode. Have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll see you for the Christmas special. See you guys.